Hello Zebra Herd and welcome back to Pokemon Quest. And today we are moving on to World 6, trying to tackle everything with our bug type Pokemon. Before we do, I do have a couple updates for you. First off, I've been leveling up Venonat, our new Parasect and Scyther. So hopefully I can remember to roll the footage of the evolution we got. I was able to record at least the, 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 the happening of Para turning into Parasect. Was that a Paris turning into Parasect? Level 27 now, I got some pretty cool stones. Obviously, as you can see, I can still do more upgrading. I just got this stone, the most recent battle I've had. I was trying to you know, train up last night. You guys don't seem to have a problem with me training between episodes, and I'm really glad to hear that because it makes the game a heck of a lot easier for me. But I also wanted to tackle another thing really quickly. I know in the last couple of episodes, I sometimes get the names of Pokemon mixed up. I think I called Vulpix a Flareon, and I've called my Charmander a Charizard a couple times now, and I'm so sorry for that. Please keep in mind that I only got into Pokemon two years ago about, so I'm still learning all the names of them, especially now that they're all in this condensed little blocky form. I sort of almost have to relearn everything, and I'm always, I've am always i always been bad with names my whole life. I'm a bit more of a visual learner than I am with names and words and stuff. So I do apologize if that's angered some of you, like it uh, it seems to have been, because you guys have been writing me messages. Some of the people have been fine with it and just poking fun and I'm fine with it, but some people have been legitimately mad and I apologize. I'm not the Pokemon master I wish I was, but th th thank you to those who have been enlightening me on my mistakes and the more I play Pokemon, the more I'll learn about it. So that's pretty gosh darn good. But you might've saw that as I was talking about all that. I got some more tickets, we're at 210. We do have three more cooking pots. I accidentally did open one of them when I was training. I think it was, oh yeah, there's this guy. Uh, there's a coughing. It was just like a level 11 coughing. Nothing too crazy. We've already gotten a coughing before. And a lot of you let me know that yes, Pokemon will just randomly show up here in the top left and they usually are pretty close to the level you need Pokemon to be at in the part of the game you are. So level 23 Voltorb with a lot of slots. That's awesome. So I'm glad to see that. And yeah, let's go over this way and check out our cooking pots. Hopefully we have even more bug type stuff. I think this bronze cooking pot should have another bronze to, or, or bug pipe. Is that a Porygon? I think that's a Porygon. Whoa, it is, look at this guy. Porygon, add it to your Pokedex. He is so cool. He's such a weird Pokemon, that's what I love about him. Look at these three having a little bit of like a group hug. <laughs> Okay, that is awesome. Already seen some new Pokemon today. Over this way, we got our bronze cooking pot, which I'm pretty sure has the honey nectar. Yep. What does it have for us? Oh, another Parasect. No, there's a Paris. So we could probably, since we already have a Parasect, which I'm sure is bound to be a little bit more powerful. Wow, okay, so interesting slots. Um. Okay, not bad. Um. So yeah. I'm trying to think. I think that we want to use this one to train our current parasite, because if I take a look at your slots, you had four, this one has five. So I think that this one's better. It has a good balance with everything. The other one had like, you know, the either or slots, which is pretty good, but I think this is gonna be overall better. So I think we want to keep with this parasite. We'll train the new parasite we just got into that one. Hopefully it'll get it even more levels, but I think we'll be good to go when it comes to going into this world. And then we'll open up this last cooking pot and then fill this stuff up with a ton more ingredients. I'll probably let it auto select. I don't really need any kind of specific thing right now. Oh, it's another Venonat. So Venonats do evolve, you've let me know. And I've like checked myself as well. I don't know what they evolve into, I already forget. And I don't know what level they evolve into because that's sort of something I've noticed. In this game, they evolve at different levels than they do in the actual Pokemon games. At least from what I've seen. So. I don't really know when things will evolve. It's just sort of, you know, me trying my best. So we'll probably put the one Venonat into the other Venonat, like I said before. Same thing with the Parasect. So that should be pretty good. And then worry about all of our other Pokemon later. For right now, I'm just sort of uh, trying to cash in on some of this stuff. Ooh, got some rainbow stuff in there. That should hopefully be good. Wonder if you had like a full rainbow setup. I wonder if it would have like a really rare Pokemon. And over this one, we'll have a bronze one. That should be pretty good. Okay, I'm excited to get started. Hopefully today will be another longer episode like last time where we got a lot of good stuff done. Uh, but of course, you guys can always give me feedback if the episodes are too long or short. I always try to hear what you guys are trying to say about it and adjust correctly. We got so many quests done. What is with this? This is crazy. Okay, I mean, I'll gladly take them. But when did I get all of these? <laughs> this is great. Okay, I did also upgrade my Power Stone collection a little bit uh, just because I was running out of room for them. But uh, for now, I want to try to save up on some tickets and stuff, so hopefully that'd be good. I still think it would be nice if we could just straight up buy PM tickets, but if we can't, then I'll do what I can with what we got. 
Okay, buy some of this. Or not buy it, but accept the reward, I guess. So many different ingredients, this is awesome. I don't know what I did for all of that, but I'll take it. For sure, I'm not complaining. So, let's check some things out. I wanna make sure our, gra our bug Pokemon are as powerful as possible for this uh, upcoming stuff. So, going into our edit team selection will be pretty good. I wanna check out the new Venonat, see if he has like better skills and stuff. Like, if we take a look at you. Uh, I think I could just click and hold you, right? Click and hold. Uh, it's not working. Maybe I have to do it from here. Here we go, okay, so you have four slots. They're all health, but you're getting your next damage slot pretty soon. You only have one move, but I think it's a pretty nice move. And then if we move over to the other Venonat, which is down here, level nines, so we'd have a lot of work to do if we wanted to get you leveled up. So I don't know if now's a good time, but you do have two moves. You do have like a better spread of things, and I'm starting to be tempted by that. The thing is, we would be a little bit behind on power because of it, but we might be able to catch up relatively quickly. So I need to see what that skill is. Um, the best way to do that, of course, is to go to the power charm slots and take a look, but I'm thinking we might want to take this vendor out instead. Uh, the user spews a sticky thread in three directions, creating nets that will damage enemies and often lower their movement speed. Okay. So I think that we want to try this guy because he has more moves, which will be helpful. He also has side beam at 69 damage, so that's pretty good. Let us head back then. I think that honestly, we will uh, remove the Venonat, the the more powerful Venonat. I mean, the thing is, is just he's such a high level. He's level 22. It will send us quite a far ways back. I don't like. I mean, a lot of you have been letting me know that levels aren't the most important thing in the game. So I think that if this person already has like better looking slots and more variety's moves, it's gonna be worth picking him up. So I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna unequip everything you have. I should just press that button, it makes it easier. And then we're gonna go back into the training section and get that all done. Sorry it takes me so long before we get into the action, but it's really worth our while to make sure we have a powerful combo of stuff. That way we can uh, make everything work. So less powerful Venena is level 11, level nine. Oh man, that's so far back. No, 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 putting you in the wrong spot. We need to make sure that you're here. I mean, actually, cause here's the thing. Maybe we should try move learning. You know what? Let's do that. Because the the slots themselves isn't that big of a deal. I think it's more important that we keep the higher level for now. Cause you're about to get your fifth slot, I think. And that's really beneficial. So you know what? Instead, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do learn moving. It should be like a 100% chance of success. And we've never tried this. It'll be a fun experiment. Please choose the move you wanna change. Um, How do I do that? Oh, is that how that works? Okay. So the, this Pokemon can only learn one move. So if I were to change this, Okay, that's not really what I want then. I mean, this isn't even gonna get you a full level up. So you know what, maybe I should just not decide for now. <laughs> maybe now's just not a good time to you know choose that kind of stuff. Instead, what we could do is because I have another Parasect, I can level the one Parasect up with the other one, or the the para, yeah, the para Parasect with the, the para. So it should still give us some good experience, right? Yep, all the way to 28, so that'll be great. And let's get to it. Okay, because I'm pretty happy with this Parasect. Works pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so I don't think I need to uh, change it out. So let's try it with that. Sorry for the confusion, but I'm just trying to make sure we make the best decisions because it can really affect us down the line. So we'll move back to our Venonat right here and we're trying to make sure everybody has the appropriate power stones. Okay, so since he only has health upgrades, I try to make sure that he has some pretty good ones that give him some kind of stats. So that's good there. And then if I move this way, I have what, our Parasect? And I think that we have this new damage upgrade that also gives us critical hit rate plus seven. What is this one? Movement speed, HP upon recovery, natural HP healing. So I think we're just gonna replace whatever's the weakest, because I don't need movement speed too much. And 193 is quite the boost, because I know for our buddy over here, he already has plenty of damage. He's just a little low on health Scyther. You can see he's at 449 on health. But honestly, he has our most powerful health bonus, so there's not too much I can do here. He's got a lot of benefits for this golden health upgrade, so even though it's a little farther down on the damage, I'd rather not have to give him an extra point of damage and lose all of this. So I think that our team is as good as it's gonna get. I've been training it, and it seems to be pretty decently powerful. I think it'll be good for tackling World 6, so hopefully that's everything we need to do, because I don't wanna spend any longer doing it. <laughs> We've taken long enough. Sorry for the wait with everything. We already have over 4,000 in our power. And if I move this way, the first requirement is 
or 3,400, we got a bonus of 2,000, so we're already over 6,000, so like stuff is getting pretty crazy. I think this will be good, so the uh, first thing I'm gonna do is turn off auto, and yeah, uh, I haven't really played with these characters too much, I've been letting auto do its thing, um, and you can see that we got some good stuff, like we got the side beam for Venom that, which still isn't too bad, I mean it hits a lot of people, and then we got the rock smash for Venom, or for Scyther, and then we got Leech Seed, which can be pretty good, um, I mean, Parasect is more of like a brawler at this point, from what I've seen. Um, he just sort of sits there and you know takes the damage. I mean, Venom that's sort of the same with his four health slots. I um, can't wait for him to get a damage upgrade soon. That's gonna really help boost some things. Oh, look at these guys. These are the little uh, elephant looking things. They got like little elephant trucks. Okay, we got Rock Smash. There we go. And then move back to Psybeam. But yeah, I'm glad we got some bug Pokemon that should surely be helpful. I don't know what the next world is gonna have in terms of Pokemon because we haven't unlocked those ones yet, but once we find out, I'll probably set up some cooking pots for it. That's sort of the disbenefit of not knowing, you know? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do Psybeam. And let's do Rock Smash. Okay. Rock Smash, Rock Smash restores really quickly. Also, a lot of you have been recommending that if I'm down to one Pokemon, I should be using the regroup button a bit more often, because what that'll do is make the Pokemon run away, and then we can have all three Pokemon together once the other two respawn, and that can seemingly be helpful. I mean, if we have a strong enough Pokemon, I don't think we'll have to worry about it at all, because they'll be able to just sort of, you know, deal with that that way. Right now, uh, Scyther's a little low on health. I would really hope that we can maybe get a better health upgrade for him soon. I mean, right now he has a really powerful one. The 252 health is the best health stone we have, but if we can find a way to get him even better, maybe even just simply, uh, what's it called? Ooh, what is this? Persian, yeah, I've seen that Pokemon. See, like, I would've never looked at that and guessed it was Persian because I don't, like, I, because of its cube form, it just looks different to me, you know? I don't know. I'm trying my best, I promise. I'm not trying to offend anybody with my lack of ultimate Pokemon knowledge. I learn more every day. Okay, let's go ahead and do Rock Smash there. And then side beam, we're actually dealing with you real easy right now, which is good because you're the first boss of this level. We sort of have to be doing well against you. So rock smash again. There we go, that did some decent stuff. And there we go, Persian's taken down. So what kind of Pokemon is Persian? I thought she was just a normal type. Look at all that yellow stuff, good, good, good. We're a little low on honey still, so I don't mind getting more. But we should be able to get a level, another level for Scyther. He's getting closer and closer, I really want it. I mean, that is an extra damage slot, which isn't too great. Hopefully next time it'll be a health slot. That's just his biggest disbenefit, is that he doesn't really have too much health, and that's not gonna be much better. If I could get like a 300 health stone. I got really lucky with that 252, because I haven't gotten anything close to that since. Okay, so we have uh, another level in World 6, which is called Pincushion Plane, by the way. Not a fun place to be, if you ask me. I don't think I would, would wanna go vacationing on a place called Pincushion Plane. Uh, okay, we got bird Pokemon we're taking down. Okay, and we got Psybeam, just like that. Oh, we'll do Leech Seed as well. Because Leech Seed does steal their health, which is pretty nice. Can be helpful. I thought that birds were good against Bug. Maybe they are. <laughs> okay, well we're doing pretty decent with what we got. We're getting tons of ingredients. As long as we get like 50 per level, that keeps me happy. I want at least one Power Stone and 50 ingredients per level. That seems to just work out well. Get the Leech Seed, get the Rock Smash. I mean, I know that Rock is good against. I don't know if Rock Smash is a Rock type move. Like, are you smashing the Rock or are you using a Rock to smash? I, I should probably check that out. I don't think there's a Bug Rock type Pokemon. There probably is. Uh, let's see, Rock. It has like a really quick restore, which is awesome. You can really use it a ton. Maybe that's sort of like my big downfall with uh, Scyther right now is I'm not using it enough. We can just constantly use it. Uh, we can use it again. And then let's try Leech Seed, even though uh, Parasect is like full in health right now. Scyther is the one that's a little low at the moment. And did he just get taken out? Yeesh, he did. So I don't know what we're gonna do about him. Parasect's backing up for some reason. It's okay, buddy, come back, come back. Let's do Psybeam. Like the other two are doing just fine. This Fero though is tough. It's not even a boss fight. So we just gotta be careful until our Scyther comes back. I think we'll be okay though. Maybe we should activate Smart Screen for, uh, you know. I'm pretty sure these guys are good against, uh, or I mean, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, like bird type Pokemon are good against Bug. That's a little concerning that we're dealing with a bunch of bird type right now. Okay, let's hit the rock, there we go. Okay, so we should be able to handle you. Well enough, Rock Smash, boom. Leech Seed, Psybeam. Psybeam seems pretty nice. Okay, uh, do Rock Smash again. Like, you're able to Rock Smash twice before 
any of their other moves are available for the other Pokemon is pretty crazy. Okay, let's do smart screen again. And we're just sort of waiting around for the side beam. That's sort of the problem with Scyther right now is he's a low health Pokemon, but he's also our only melee, so he is usually leading the charge with doing damage and and like getting damage dealt to him. Wow, we get over 70, 80, nice! Okay, we're getting more and more material as we go along, and we get level 23, Venom, not, not quite level 28 for Scyther. I think we're gonna have to get him to level 30 to get this damage stone, which is sort of a pain in the booty, but we'll do what we gotta do. Two more stones, neither of which are past 250, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so there's 6-2 done. Now we can move into 6-3, but first we got ourselves a brand new Pokemon, what's it gonna be? Hopefully it can be another bug type. At this point, I am tempted to set up another bug type. Uh, so what's this gonna be? It will be a mulligan. Because if we could get another strong bug type, maybe we could use that to level up. It's a Cloyster, isn't it? I think so. No, <laughs> it was a Nidoran. No, no, it was a shelter. Okay, I, for a second I thought this was it. I was like, okay, how did I get that confused? He was hiding me on the onyx. Okay, it was shelter, so it's the thing before cloister. Cool, I like it. Level five, so it isn't too powerful, but I might make one last stew for a bug type Pokemon. I mean, we could set up like this, and what was it again? It was that, and then we'll need 30 honey. So this will be sort of the last of what we want to spend at this, and hopefully we can hold on to it for a little while. I want to put that there. And then put this here, and hopefully that can get us a nice strong bug Pokemon. Hopefully it doesn't take too long either, because at this point, yeah, it takes forever to get these done. How long, How much does it take to speed this up? 50. Ooh, that's expensive. I don't want to do that. Does it get cheaper as it gets closer? Yes, it does. Maybe we can at some point, but um, I don't know. If things go really badly, I might take that many battles. We'll have to wait and see. Let's go back to our expeditions and see what else we can get done. Uh, So we should be able to handle this. Oh yeah, we gotta, here's the thing, we gotta expand our box or recycle. I think we're good to recycle. I don't wanna have to spend 50 more tickets to expand my box if I don't have to. Um, so let's check this out. Uh, so I have all these that I think are under, all the health upgrades that are under 140, I could probably get rid of, to be honest with you. Uh, so let's try that out right now. I don't wanna get rid of the gold one, but I probably should. Yeah, because I have so many other health upgrades that are a good chunk more, like this is just my second page. I, I'm getting more and more health upgrades that are over 200. I should probably apply that health grade upgrade to somebody soon, uh, or now might be a good chance. So let's just go ahead and get rid of these six. And we got some decent materials for, nothing crazy. And then we need to change our Pokemon, because this is not the Pokemon I want to give uh, stones to. He's level five, Shelter. <laughs> um, I think Venonat might be able to benefit from it. Who has the weakest health stone right now? Because if so, like right, whoever it is, I wanna fix that. It looks like it is Venonat. He has a bronze one, HP upon recovery. This is critical hit damage, which I think is better, and it's really high, so we could end up just plop replacing that. There we go, and then we get an extra buff out of it, we get a couple extra power points. Very, very good. So let's keep moving forward with that. And now we're at 42, 46, a little bit better. I like it. Let's go. So cooking dishes with auto set, if you automatically set your ingredients, you may be able to cook something new. I don't know what that said. Maybe something new. Okay, wild Pokemon. Oh, we got an Abra. And this one, the, these Pokemon with the trunks again. I forget their names. Okay, I think we can handle these guys better. Better than the bird Pokemon. Okay, got that. Do Rock Smash again, come on. I wish I would do a little bit more damage. I guess that's sort of the trade-off. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but at the same time, it does, uh, what's it called? It does restore really quickly, so it doesn't need to. I think it actually, does it hurt everybody around him? Oh, it does, okay. It's not sort of like a one-to-one -one move as I was expecting. Instead, it hits everybody in his surrounding area. Unless it's just like a weird coincidence, but it isn't. You can tell that there's like little white streaks around him, and then it just hits to both of them. That's actually really cool. I like that now. I mean, I didn't dislike it before, but it's more useful than I thought it was. Okay, go ahead and do this, and then we'll do uh, Leech Seed, try to get some health back for him, because Parasite has some damage taken. Do this again, boom. And it does more damage than a normal attack, it seems. That's pretty good. Okay, wave cleared, we're gonna move this way, and we got you. So Rock Smash, uh, do the uh, Psy Beam, Leech Seed, Rock Smash to try to hit more than one, we were able to do it. Well, okay, those guys are Appers, the ones with the spoons, I don't know what they were called. Um, oh, Leech Seed has been disabled, that sort of sinks. Come on, Psy Beam is like 1v1 in this guy over here, it's not working out too well either. Okay, let's do light screen. Come on, yeah, fight, face these guys. Maybe we could have them like regroup, because this isn't working out too well. There we go, there we go. 
Um, no, and then he just goes back to fighting that guy. Not what I wanted. Okay, that's pretty good. So we're having a hard time in this battle. That's for sure. Come on, get him. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Everybody gang up on him. That was pretty good. Wave cleared. And then there's this guy with, yeah, he's hip now. Cool, I like him. So we got Leaf Seed, we got Psybeam. So Parasect and uh, Venonat seem to be okay. I mean, obviously, Scyther's having a hard time again. I think it's just sort of our team combo, is just sort of, you know, this is the luck of the draw we got for our Pokemon, what more can we do? We're just gonna try to survive until uh, Scyther pops back up. Right now we haven't even actually dealt with the boss yet. Ooh, look at that crit, 27-16 was a damage there. Come on, Scyther's almost up. Go ahead and hit him with the Rock Smash, and then we're gonna Leaf Seed, then we're gonna Psy Beam, and then Rock Smash again. Got him. Okay, get it again. It's just constant damage with it, it's great. Okay, Psy Beam. Oh, he got taken out again. He was about to do another Rock Smash as well. Let's do Light Screen. I mean, maybe it would've been better to have the other thing. Come on, come on. I think we can survive this. Even if Venonat gets taken out, I think we can make this work. Because Parasite hits really hard. Okay, come on. Oh no! Oh no, he's asleep! He's snoozing! Go on, somebody get him an alarm clock! Wake that Venonat up! <laughs> he makes a little cute little snoring sound now. He's so adorable. We took him out though. Parasite is like a total beast right now. Even though we're having a harder and harder time, it's really getting me worried. Okay, we got a couple more uh, ingredients there. Another Power Stone. Almost level 28 for you. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, 233 is not bad. I can at least get that for somebody. It's not gonna be for uh, Scyther, but for one of the other Pokemon, sure. And then we got a quest done. What is this gonna be? I, I need to do this soon. Do a move learning and tra move learning training. Then we also have some other stuff. I don't wanna like spoil too much of it though. Uh, for these challenges though, we got five more tickets there. Good, good, good. And then we got some mushrooms, five of them. Nothing crazy, but I'll take it. And then I wanted to upgrade somebody's health. I think we should focus on upgrading Venonat's health because like I said, Parasect is doing amazing as it is. So if I could just turn something into 233, there you go. Not bad. Of course I could start, I think I'm gonna replace this next, but I don't wanna give up on the um, HP upon recovery if I can manage for right now because that's a pretty useful stat to have. So let's go back in, it's now 6-4. This is where our base power is overwhelmed. So I don't really know if this is where things might turn for the worse. Cause you know, I know that power doesn't matter for everything. I mean, I'm having a hard time figuring out how to make a solid team of Pokemon that might help. There might be, you know, a combo that I could do. Maybe we could get Lapras back in here and that can help a little bit. You never know. Okay, so right now the Rock Smash is actually helping out with this little cluster of Pokemon. Let's do Psy Beam, move back the Rock Smash, be able to get rid of like one of them and damage the other two. Look at that Abra bouncing around. Maybe the maybe the evolution is called Kadabra? I can't remember. <laughs> That'd be funny, I like that. Okay, get him, good job. But Scyther's already down to half health. Yeah, I think that maybe we could replace Scyther with somebody, maybe with just a ton of health. And that, that way he could just tank. Like maybe even like Snorlax or something. Something that at the least isn't weak to bug type or, or whatever we're going against right now, which it seems to be grass. I mean, I don't know what the eggs are. I'd have to imagine they're grass type, but that'd also be sort of weird, they're, they're eggs. Okay, get rid of him. Even though he, he's definitely a grass type. I have to be pretty sure. I know that in the uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, he has a really long neck. Oh wow, whoa, that was scary. Okay, so we're holding on decently well. Use another Rock Smash, so it was a little too late for that one. Okay, this should be the boss fight, so we were able to survive without Scyther getting taken out by the boss fight, which is better than last time. Oh my gosh, it's a creepy clown thing, Mr. Mime. I guess he isn't a clown, he's a mime, but what's the difference? I don't know, they're both creepy, to be honest with you. Okay, got Rock Smash going on, got another one. Come on, I can do three Rock Smashes while I'm waiting for the cooldown of everything else. It's insanity. Got it, got it one more time. Yes, good job, good job. Okay, we're gonna do Leech Seed, and then we got another Rock Smash in there. Dude, you are holding on tight, I appreciate it. Come on, do another one. Boom, okay. What is this thing right here? Why is it not taking any damage? That's weird, what is that? Uh, I don't know, it's freaking me out, but it went away. Was it like an illusion? Is that a type of move that like Mr. Mime has? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ready, set, hit him with the triple shot. I love that move, because it hits more than one unit, it's great. Come on, guys, you got this. Scythe's back up, use a Rock Smash, and then Leech Seed, and then Psy Beam. Okay, Mr. Mime is actually really low right now, which is great. Rock Smash again, Scyther's out, no he's not. He's not, he's holding on. That must be some kind of 
thing. Because they're just both distracted with that instead of, okay, there we go. They at least used some moves on him. No, now they're all distracted. Come on, guys, come on. Keep going, he's almost down, we got him. Yeah, Scyther was around to see it to the end this time. We got barely any materials, though. that was bizarre. I mean, compared to before, we've been getting like 80 plus, now we only got 50. What did I do wrong? Yes, level 28, you're so close to at least a little extra damage, which the quicker you can get rid of the guys, the more you'll survive. It does make sense to some degree. Okay, awesome stuff, Moby 4 Instructional Manual. I don't know what that said. I would have actually liked to read that one. We got ourselves another bronze cooking pot available. Hopefully we can tackle this level without it being too much of an issue though. We'll have to wait and see. What is this gonna have for us? Just, oh, a hot pot a la cube, nice. So this is gonna attract a fire type Pokemon. Another Charmander, nice. So this could be uh, put into our Charmeleon, which is great. Awesome, look at how many slots you have, you're a beast. I might just wanna keep with you. You have four damage slots in health, I'll have to consider that later. Um, But for now, we can go ahead and go back to our expeditions, I believe. Well, let's go ahead and stock this up a little bit, just like this. Pretty good, pretty good, and it'll, it'll be good to go. So we could spend some tickets to speed this up if we wanted to, but I'm gonna wait for now, and we're just gonna move on with the action. I'm having a lot of fun, though. Okay, so what stones do I have right now? Do I have anything like super crazy new? We got 200 health here. That would be better for Parasect, because, you know, it's not really anything fancy anyways. I think for everybody else, we're fine. Yeah, it's looking like it. Okay, well, I did what I could with all of that. We're gonna go into the boss and sort of see how things go. Cause like right now, this guy's 5,700, but in total, we have 6,300, yeah, I guess 6,400 even. Crazy stuff. So if the bonus really helps, we have an over like a thousand point lead or something crazy like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and boom, do that. And leech seed. Good, good, good and do the rock smash over and over again. But yeah, we might be able to do this. We might be able to beat World 6 without too much of an issue. I really hope so. Ooh, look at that crit. Good job, dude. I think that was Scyther. So I wanna make sure we use rock smash first and then leech seed and then side beam. I think that's a good combo of things. I just love how this hits like all the targets around him and so constantly too. It does look not much damage as you can see the guy already got taken out, the poor thing. We really need him to get a health upgrade next time. That's sort of the hard part about Scyther though, I guess as a Pokemon is just his low health at least in this game. I don't know if it's like that in the actual Pokemon games. Maybe one day I can find out. Wild Pokemon, let's do Leech Seed, let's do Psy Beam. Nice, we got him. There's one of them down already. They seem to be pretty weak. Whoa, a one hit takedown. Parasect is scary. Oh my gosh, remind me not to get on the bad side of Parasect because he will just tear us up. There's one hit KO. And he's a ranged Pokemon too, which helps. Oh my gosh, he's a monster. Okay, we got more Pokemon over this way. I'm not worried just because of Parasect. He's the man right now. Uh, There we go, come on. Whoa, what move was that? Come on, come on, survive, survive. There's Leech Seed, doesn't help too much to be honest with you. Just attacking him normally will help plenty enough. Okay, turn around Parasect, turn around. Okay. So we just gotta wait, try to make everybody survive while we're waiting for Scyther to pop back up. This is our last group of Pokemon before the boss, so if we get to deal with them without too much of an issue, that'd be great. But I'm thinking that as long as we have Parasect and he's actually attacking the targets, we should be okay. Okay, there's you, do Rock Smash. Just try to keep them away from you, really. That way you don't take too much more damage. Okay, wave clear, we should have a boss fight going somewhere. Whenever the camera starts to zoom out a little bit. Oh my, he has two spoons, it's Alakazam. I like it. Okay, whoa, we destroyed like a bunch of trees. Come on, keep going, keep going. Oh boy, another rock smash. Oh, and there he goes. That's okay, we got other Pokemon we can worry about. This guy's gonna be tough. Look at how big he is, he's gigantic. Okay, Um. so we are taking a little bit of a beating right now, it's not too fun. I don't know what we're gonna have to do except for just continue to try to survive. We got Leaf Seed, which will definitely be helpful, I'm sure. It's Venonuts taking definitely some painful situations right now. This might go really badly. We'll have to wait and see. But I really hope we can find a way to survive this. Come on, come on guys. Let's do smart screen now. We'll do side beam. We're getting rid of all of his little friends, but now we just have Venonat, or, or, or Parasect. Run away, run away, run the opposite direction. That's not working. Okay, well, I think that just ruined me. Oh boy. We made it really far though. 
I don't think I want to spend PM tickets for that. We're, we're going to give up on it. I don't know if I want to try again and see if we can't get luckier or if I should. I mean, we do get experience regardless. Oh, you get the level 30, which is good. It's going to help a little bit. Should we try again? I mean, I suppose that's the best option we have. We should also check maybe none of the cooking pots are ready. Huh, what more can I do besides just give it another go and see how things end up happening? I mean, maybe now is a good time to level up the Venonat. Right, didn't we have an extra Venonat? I think so. So maybe now's an extra, you know, a good time to level him up if we go to training, not here. Because while, or was it the Venonat? I'm pretty sure it was. Because while he doesn't have as good of moves, I think right now, just any kind of benefit, if we could get him one more level, that should be enough for some extra damage, which might put us over the edge. Also, this is not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go to training. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Edit our team, and then go to training. As soon as I can, just like that. Okay, so what are we gonna get? We are gonna get the uh, Venonat, which is right here. Oh, no, no, you can't choose. Uh, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Getting him mixed up anyways. Don't wanna do that again. Okay, so we have, where is he? Venonat's here. Do we have any other spare bug type Pokemon we don't want at the moment? I don't think so. Uh, doesn't look like it. So yeah, we're just gonna do what we can with this. This'll get him all the way, almost up to a level up. So if we could just like drop in a Pokemon we don't need so much. Like we have another one of you right over here. Yes, okay. So we're probably just gonna go, actually, 61, 141, 89. Okay, well, you're a little bit better, right? What stones do you have? Do I, can I not check that here? Of course I can't. I might just throw caution to the wind, but at the same time, I never trust that. We do have like a a couple spare things. I thought we had a spare Geodude. We definitely have a spare Machop. Anything, no, that won't even get me to level up though. <laughs> Come on, give me something. Uh, Okay, we'll, we'll go with the spare Geodude. I know I have more than one of him somewhere, right? Yep, right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. It'll get me to, no, no, that still also won't get me. Come on, I just wanna get to level 26. Ugh. Okay, so I'll do my extra coughing. I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna go ahead and get level 26 and maybe that'll even be like an evolution or something. He has to be close to his evolution. Oh, we get the damage stone. Better than nothing for sure. So let's try that. Still no evolution for him. Quite odd. Let's go for that, see what ends up happening. Um, we'll definitely give him a power stone for sure. So where is he? He's right here. I'm gonna select him, go our, to our power charms and see what we can do with that. What's our best damage upgrade? I guess this right here, but if we could give him something slightly less damage, but it does give him a higher critical hit rate, a little less, we can give him better movement speed. I think we're gonna go with the critical hit rate though. I think that's fine enough. And there isn't anything else I could be doing instead. I mean, what about like this golden stone? This one's 152, but does give him some better slots overall. I mean, he has a lot of health, but do I wanna sacrifice any of it? Uh, but this is his HP upon recovery. Maybe this would be better than that. We do lose some stats, but we did gain 155, so overall we're getting a benefit. Let's try that out and see if this is what we need to put ourselves over the edge, because we were very close to beating him. And as long as we could keep going, maybe I could try one of the other levels and instead, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna get it, getting strong power stones. The stronger the enemy, the more powerful. The power stones, I guess we get from it. Okay, good to know. Anyways, let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully we can just take care of these guys without too much damage being taken. That's what I'm gonna be hoping for. Use Rock Smash as much as physically possible, which is quite a lot. Right now we're doing an okay job. I mean, I accept the fact that he's gonna get beat up. Scyther's gonna have a hard time, but we got through that first wave pretty quickly. I like it. Let's go this way, and then we're gonna try to Rock Smash, and then, yep, just like that. Got it, do another rock smash. I know that might be like a little bit of an annoying noise, me just pressing the button over and over again, but it's definitely worth my while. Go ahead and give that. Go ahead and move over here with this one. Got him, okay, good job, team. So this guy's a little low, hold on, get rid of him. I guess there was one left. That's the second wave done of four. Parasite's looking a little low on health, so we might wanna use Leech Seed the first chance we get. I don't know if that got him any health, but I could got him some. It's something. Get them, get them again, get them again. Got, got it. Okay, okay. Got another rock smash. Oh, look at that, cool, rare stuff. That didn't hit anybody, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, that rock smash he did, but we got another one. 
Don't have to worry about it. So he's holding on for a good while. He's about to get taken out, but he lasted forever. So I can't be too disappointed in him. Hopefully we can take care of this group and then he'll be up and ready to go. I mean, he did sort of get taken out at a bad time, I think. Okay, got it. And then just hit him with this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh wow, you're taking a huge beating there. You took so much damage, that was insane. Jeez, come on now. Why are you so low on health now? Come on, you were doing so well. Oh, that stinks. Okay, you're back up, sort of at a bad time, but we'll, we'll use what we can. That rock smash got rid of him. We are not gonna do well. Things were going so well, and then it just went so bad. Oh, that stinks. At this rate, we'll at least get that cooking pot. That might help. I'm not really sure. We'll have to wait and see. Come on, come on, come on. It's just it has a whole, he has a whole group of enemies that are so hard to deal with. It's pretty tough. Okay, come on, come on. Ready, got it, got it. Okay, we're getting lots of materials, but that doesn't matter if we can't survive because then I have to spend PM tickets to keep them. Oh gosh, this is awful. Come on, come on, side beam this guy's, just get rid of him. We just don't do any damage to them. I gotta find out what's like maybe type-wise good against Alakazam and his little friends, and maybe that will save me, but the chances are even low about that right now. Uh, the only good thing is that right here, you know, Venonat has some good health, so if he could just get rid of this guy and do the rock smash on him, and if you two could just run away for a little bit, yeah, just like that, sure, you just got really hurt though. They just really wanna attack him, which is not helping me too much right now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, run, 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 run. This doesn't work at all. This strategy is not very helpful. I'm sorry. Okay, because he just runs into a corner and gets himself cornered, and that's not helpful. Come on, just get rid of that one dude. That's all I need you to do right now. No, we're still gonna get taken out. Oh, we still are. I mean, you can try to run, but he's gonna chase you. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Keep running, keep running, keep running away. Keep running away, keep running away. That's it, that's it, that's it. Throw out the leaf seed, and then throw out the rock smash. We have so little health, this is practically impossible. We are definitely gonna need to get another Pokemon that might be able to help us a little bit more. Run away again, run away again. Oh boy, he's gonna charge up a shot, and he double hit us there. Oh geez, you didn't have any health. You had like one hit. Yeah, that's like impossible right now. So I'm gonna try to figure out what Alakazam is weak to. Uh, your Pokemon are all tired out. I know, I know. Okay, well, it says a dark ghost and bug. So maybe if we just have a better combo of maybe like a stockier character, I'm thinking Lapras would be helpful as long as like Alakazam isn't strong to that, but I don't think he is. I think he's strong against other things, but he's definitely weak to bug. That's sort of the tough position we're in right now. But anyways, I guess I did take those, their materials. Let's see what bug type Pokemon we might get from our cooking pot, if that's available. I actually don't think it is yet. So we'll just try Lapras instead, because that's a good, strong Pokemon that should have a lot of health, I think. Ooh, nice, we got these done. What are they gonna be? We got a Mulligan, maybe it's something good. I can only hope, right? What is that? Uh, whoa, look at you! You're Dratini! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love you! You're level one, though, which is not very easy to work with, but I'll keep you in mind. I guess you're a water type. Very cute. And then we also have over here, what is this gonna be? Hopefully something equally as cool. Oh, another one of you. One of these uh, Aerodactyls, I think? It looks like it. Okay, so we got another Aerodactyl. Pretty cool, we already have one of you, though, so it's not the most exciting thing in the world. Uh, let's go ahead and store the, er, yeah, restore these to being full of food and tastiness. There's still one material we haven't gotten before. It's a weird rainbow shell looking thing. I don't know what that's about. When, I wonder when we start getting those. Okay, so, with all of that being going on, I'll check out what we got from request and we'll try to continue on. Um, we'll get to our challenges, we got, do level up training 10 times, that's good. And then we got some of this, so, just got some honey out of it. Something, right, something. So yeah, I think that we're gonna move over our team. I think that we just need another bulky character. While it's great that Scyther does some good damage, I mean, we could maybe try just something like our, uh, well, there's a Charmander right here. <laughs> um, that's like higher level than our Charmeleon. I don't know. I think it would be better to have Lapras. Uh, I mean, stat-wise, it's not gonna be that much of a deficit if we plop on some stones, so I think we're gonna try that and see what ends up happening. It might be good, it might be bad. We just gotta try it, right? And see what ends up happening. Um, when it comes to stones, though, we might as well give you the best things we can if they're available. Uh, but let's see. I mean, you could use some good damage stones. We don't have too many of them as an option, but actually, let's go ahead and give you this one instead and see how things go. 
I mean, I do really like, you know, the Pokemon we're replacing, Scyther, but I gotta work with what's gonna actually help right now. And right now that's gonna help, I think, a little bit more, because, you know, she'll be able to at least stay on the battlefield for a little bit longer. She might not be doing as much damage, but with her moves, which she has pretty good ones, and I don't think there's any kind of typing disadvantage, so I think that's gonna work. So let's try it. We will have less of a bonus, but as you guys have been trying to tell me, uh, apparently that doesn't matter as much as I think it does. I don't understand why the game puts so much of an emphasis on the power if it's not always the most effective number, but as you can see, we do still have like a higher number than them with the bonus type. I just don't know if that really matters. Every 22 hours, random Pokemon seem to come to visit your base map, cool. So every 22 hours, we can find a new Pokemon there. I'll try to check every day. I've been trying to record this series every day. I've been a couple episodes ahead. Let's do Hydro Pump and see how well that does. I mean, we are still pretty, getting pretty beat up. We have a much stockier team. Yeah, okay, I think that this is gonna work out a little bit better. I'm so sorry, Scyther, but if this works, it works. Okay, we'll do Hydro Pump. It's also a good one to have from a distance, unlike Scyther's, you know, you have to be very up close for it. We'll do Leech Seed. It looks like Parasect is one taking a bit of damage now, because I think these are all ranged, so that gets it a little messy in that idea. Okay, these are all just going for this guy, and they do land that they hit really hard. Hydro Pump's a good move, just as it is. So that's great. We'll do Leech Seed, Side Beam, and then Hydro Pump. Actually, we probably could've just done the Ice Beam, but hey, if this hurts him, and it really does. Okay, we're doing way better now. So I'm so sorry, the Scyther fans. I'm one of them, because I was a cool Pokemon. He's just not helpful in this situation. And sometimes it's just sort of the nature of the game. So you gotta pick the Pokemon that's gonna be the best for you. Okay, we'll do this, we'll do Leech Seed. I'm just gonna do Ice Beam this time. Boom, it gets you. Oh, that did some good damage. And get you. Okay, so we're almost ready for the boss. We just got a little bit more to do. Get those guys, do Ice Beam again. Let's see if we can't hit more than one target with that. We can't, but if we, if we, Line up, we could've. Okay, and then get rid of you with a side beam. It didn't hit. <laughs> oh, we got a new uh, health stone there, might be a good one. Okay, moving this way, we got the boss. So this is where we're probably gonna immediately use Hydro Pump to just try to take care of as many of these enemies, because the tough part about this boss is that there's so many of them. Like there's so many little guys that are just really stuffing up the battlefield uh, that if we could get rid of a couple of them, I think that's gonna be the most helpful thing for us. Okay, yeah, knock uh, Lapras back so that we can miss every single one. She missed almost all of those Hydro Pumps. That was a little bit not good. Um, she does not have healing. I think I said that earlier that she does, getting that mixed up with the other one. Come on, can one of those land, please? Oh my gosh, that's she's sort of uh, messing up at the worst time. But we got rid of all of them this time before it became a huge issue. We're gonna do a uh, light screen with Parasect. Okay, now those are landing. When there's only one unit, much easier. Got it? Okay, so there it goes. Uh, Venonat, unfortunately, but that's okay. We can keep working, keep working. We're gonna do Leaf Seed whenever we can. I don't know which one's gonna become available first. I guess this one, and then maybe just Ice Beam, because you're right here, boom. That did okay. I mean, maybe it would've just been better to do Hydro Pump. It doesn't matter, we defeated him! Okay, so, awesome, awesome stuff. We got some, many Pokemon defeated today, but it was still very difficult all the way through. We do get no level ups at all, so Venonat's not gonna evolve today, maybe. Okay, so that is another world defeated. It means we'll be moving on to world seven, which is a total mystery to me about what we'll end up getting, but look at that thing. You discovered the abundance statue. Congratulations, now your Pokemon at the level 30 can get increased experience from expeditions. I've discovered yet another new statue. This makes six. Just how many of these things are there? This is the abundance statue. The statue is carved in the shape of a tangela. Maybe the ever-growing vines of a tangela symbolize hope for a bountiful harvest. With that, we have finished exploring this entire area. I'll locate the route to the next area. It may take some time to locate, so in the meantime, there are 10 Chamber of Legend statues in all, meaning we've collected a bit more than half of them. Who made them is unknown. Beep boop beep beep boop beep beep. Again, Moby? The Chamber of Legends pr protected by so many statues contains incredibly l awesome loot. You must make it yours. Huh? Beep boop blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That was weird. So we only have Four more statues to get, awesome. Well, we'll get to it, that's World 7. We'll be tackling that next episode. Hopefully we can get to it. For the rest of today's episode, I wanna use the rest of my batteries trying to figure out uh, which Pokemon are next, the ones I need to tackle, and we will just try to go for it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really concerned about the difficulty level of these Pokemon. Stand by, route to the new area detected, onward we go. So this one right here, this is 
We're all at seven. We got an expedition bonus right now. It is for rock type Pokemon. So I have a lot of training to go for some rock types. Um, I'm gonna start training them up and sort of see who just ends up becoming the most powerful. Um, but here we go. We got this right here. Uh, you've completed the a main quest. Would you like to go check it out? Yes, okay. So what do we get for this first off? We get a new cooking pot for uh, completing clear or clearing pincushion plane. We get a new kind of cooking pot. It's the silver kind. Awesome, awesome stuff. So I'm glad that we got that. And as you can see, what do we uh, end up getting in this cooking pot? That's what I'm really excited about at the moment. And then maybe we can upgrade to the new one. Uh, Honey nectar a la cube. Okay, this was the bug type. I was just point trying to get a little too, little too late. Another Paris, look at that. Well, that can make my Parasect even more powerful. I mean, out of all this, at least I get a very powerful Parasect. That's always great. Um, and there you are, Paris became your buddy. Four damage slots, honestly not that great. You have some different moves, but honestly I like the Parasect we have. So we could use you to level him up, or we could use you to level up another bug type Pokemon or whatever else we might need to do. Let's check out the brand new cooking pot. We have tons of materials, so we should be able to upgrade this to silver, and we need 15 each, so. We'll just do that and see what ends up happening. We might get a very powerful Pokemon out of it. And uh, yeah, that should only take five turns. That's pretty good. Everything else will sort of let do its own thing. So let's take a look at our team and try to find out which rock types we have. Is there any way we can sort our Pokemon? I mean, we can set them by new, by HP, by attack, by level. So you can't sort them by type, which honestly, I don't appreciate too much. Um, but with all that, I'm looking for rock type. So I know that you're you're not a rock type, you're a fighting type. But, I mean, are you a rock type sand true, I think? There's not a sand type, so you have to be. Other than that, or ground. I mean, what's it good? Is it rock is good against ground, or ground is good against rock? I, I, I gotta study that, don't I? Okay, here's Geodude. He's a rock and ground type. I know what he does, I just need him over here. No, come on, come on, got it. And then if we move over this way, we got an Onyx, which is pretty good. But there is another Onyx we have, so we wanna keep that in mind. And then we also have Aerodactyl, which I think he's a ground flying, so I don't know if he'd be too helpful. You guys can give me feedback on that if you want. And then we have another Geodude. So I'm trying to take a look. Which Geodude has the better stuff? We move back to this Geodude over this way, because we'll probably train these guys up as much as we can. This guy has four slots at level 19 and one move. And that move is what? I wish there was an easy way to figure this stuff out. Sort of a lot of menus you have to sort through in this game. Uh, but if we take a look, as you can see, it's Tackle. The user smashes into enemies in front of itself with all of its might, damaging them. That's good, but I want more moves than that. It seems to be useful to have an en or a Pokemon that has a lot of move slots. So if we take a look at, where is he? We also have two Onyxes, so. This Geodude, how many slots does he have? Probably not many. He has two, though. Pretty good start for level four, and he has two separate moves, so I think I'm already starting to lean towards this guy. He has a uh, Dig. The user digs a tunnel uh, to travel beneath the feet of the enemies in front of itself, then pops out from beneath the, them to damage them, and then he also has Normal Flail. The user flaws about damaging enemies it hits. So we got some options there. I mean, it's a ground type move, it's something. So I think we'll go ahead and go with this guy, and then, you know, level him up through the other Geodude. Now if we take a look at the Onyxes, we'll try to find out what's going on with them. We have an Onyx over to the right. He's only level something, I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, there's an Onyx here, and this Onyx is level 16. And he has two moves. I think that's Rock Throw, and then we have another one, maybe like Earthquake. That's a move, right? Let's take a look. This is Roar, no? Okay, that's a normal type. The user roars intensely, bowling away surrounding enemies. That could be useful. And then Rock, Sandstorm. The user creates a sandstorm around instead of damaging enemies hit by it. I think that actually sounds pretty useful. I think I'll wanna keep with him depending on if the other guy has anything. So where is the other Onyx? He's right here. And what moves does he have? He has also Sandstorm and then another move. Is that move gonna push enemy, like is it gonna be any better than pushing enemies away? It's uh, the user polishes his body to reduce drag, raising his movement speed for a while. I actually don't need movement speed. He has three stones already for him just being only level whatever. So that's pretty good. So maybe I could teach him a move and then we'd have to just level him up the old fashioned way. Let's see this though, really quickly. You have a lot of stones already too, though. You have 
five of them. So I'm gonna keep with you actually. We're gonna train up for you the more damaging. So like the the stronger one already for the, the onyx, and then the weaker one for you? I forget already. Uh Oh, I, I really, no, 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 we wanted to keep you because you have better skills. Um, it's gonna take a while to get these stones, but I think it'll be worthwhile overall. You could definitely be like a more tank of a character. And then finally over here, we have the Rhyhorn and he's level four. And I think we're just gonna keep with him as well. I mean, we have a sand shroom. I just don't know which one's rock and which one's not. <laughs> it's hard to tell when they're all rock ground types. I guess it doesn't matter then. Uh, so we'll keep the higher level Okay, so let's plop you out of here. We'll just keep it like that for now and we'll go into training. And we'll just try to train some Pokemon up. Cause for the Onyx that's over here, you're right there. Let's just double check this really quickly, if I can. I don't get why it's so picky with that. Why can't I check out their skills here as well? That's ridiculous because it's like, I wanna double check and I don't want it to take 20 minutes to do. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just level up this Onyx with the other Onyx. He just has the moving quicker thing, not the move learning. There we go. It'll give him some experience, it's nothing crazy, but any amount of be benefit is helpful, so go ahead and get that. He already has a lot of these rocks already, so that'll be very beneficial. For level 16, that's a lot of them. So go go ahead and get that, and then we have to figure out the other Pokemon, which is a Geodude. So let me take a look at that really quickly. So yeah, the lower level Geodude had better skills, and had two skill slots, which I like better, so we're just gonna keep that. Oh, there's another Onyx here as well. I didn't see this guy. Okay, we'll have to take a look at that later. Um, for now, I'm gonna level up the larger Geodude into the smaller one. He should be down here, he's level 19, and I think that's the only Geodude, Geodude we have, so I'll bring you all the way up to level 13, which is really nice. Um, and let's get to it. That should be good. Boom. Now all the way up to level 13 for you. So that should maybe get you, oh, two more health stones. That's really great. He's gonna be a total tank. He only has one damage stone, but I think it's gonna be overall okay. He could be our tank. And then finally, if I took a look at this other Onyx real quick, I know I'm taking so long in this. It just sort of is a process that takes a while. I don't think you're gonna have much better. Yeah, you're actually worse. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and level this guy into the other Onyx, I guess. I mean, it obviously isn't gonna do too much for us. I mean, maybe I could actually put him into, uh, it would be more beneficial to just do it into the Onyx, so do that. And then if we go all the way around, nope, we can't do that, we gotta do it the long way. Put this Onyx on the Onyx, and we get almost level 17. It's something. So we'll do that training, we'll, we'll play some, we'll try to level up these guys and Sand True, that'll be pretty good. And hope everything goes well. So I'm trying to give him uh, stones that might not be the most, Full of health, but that will give him good stats. We got this really powerful Mighty Stone, now that's exciting. Um, and then we have a couple more health stones for our other Pokemon, just in case they need them. But I don't want him to be too beefy, because like it's not that big of a deal as long as we got other stat upgrades, as far as I can tell. So you only have one damage slot. I'm gonna go make, make sure that you have a lot of damage behind it. And then we'll probably keep this really big health one, maybe for Onyx or something. I mean, maybe we should give that to Geodude, we'll find out. For now, we can definitely give you some of this. And then finally, I suppose this one. We don't have too many special uh, bronze or higher stones right now, but hopefully that can change over time. And then finally, we can move over to Onyx and see what else we can get there, and hopefully everything will turn out well. So yeah, you actually have a lot of health options, so I don't mind going ahead and giving you this. You have, oh, you have so many slots, it's insane. Um, give you this one. I guess I can also give you, wow, yeah, you have this one open as well. These are all taken by our Pokemon right now. I can give you this one. And then finally, we can give you another damage. Might as well give you the 162. Okay, a very beefy Pokemon right there. I like it. So this actually isn't too bad of a team when it comes to the power of everything. And I wanna level them up to see sort of like who ends up being the best uh, ground Pokemon out of the, all of this. Even if I don't use all three of them, like what happened in today's episode, at the very end I didn't use all but three bug Pokemon. I ended up having to use a combination with other Pokemon. That's totally fine. I just wanna make sure that we get some powerful rock Pokemon, because that will clearly help. You can see here at Miasma More, Miasma More, which we'll be tackling next episode, we need 6,000 just to get started. So this is only a 1,400 bonus, so we're a good ways away. So I think we should train up. I don't wanna go somewhere that's too difficult for us, so maybe all the way back at Belly Button Cave, doing something like 5-2, sounds pretty good to me. 
Um, maybe we should actually go against areas that have a final boss, but I don't think the final bosses give anything more than the normal bosses. We'll have to see. But we're just gonna give this a shot and see how everything goes and have some fun with it. We got some wild Pokemon coming up. It will be Rock versus Rock, which isn't always the best as far as I understand. That's such a funny little noise that he makes when he flails around. And then we got Rollout, which I actually don't know what Rollout does. It's sort of a normal type move. I hope that, you know what we should do? I think we already have the ingredients, the recipe that that is for, uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Um, we already should have the recipe for the, I always forget the word of the word, the, uh, the, the, the cooking, uh, the cooking pots for the rock types. So we should set those up whenever we have open cooking pots, which should be, I think there'll be another one open up after this. So we'll try that out. Sandstorm is actually like, our original Charmander's Ember, the way that it flies out. I like these levels because they're just a bunch of Zubats. It's just funny. We got Sandstorm, and that's great for taking care of a ton of them with Onyx. So I think this will turn out okay. It should help us get through World 7, I believe it is. Not World 6? Or was it World 6? I, I can't remember. We'll find out. But I hope you guys are staying tuned for that. I've been trying my best to get these videos out every day. So, should be tomorrow. Okay, wild Pokemon are coming in. More sand trues, and I, uh, a rat. <laughs> It'd be funny if there was just like a random Pokemon that just had a normal animal name. Just like, oh, it's 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 rat. Oh, it's koala. That'd be funny, I'd like that. Okay, let's, maybe we shouldn't have done Roar. I don't know how helpful Roar is in hindsight. I mean, it isn't that bad. More than anything, he has an extra slot, which I think is pretty big. That really means that later on, we can end up making it so that he, uh, he can get something else there if we get like an Onyx. I mean, we can learn moves with other Pokemon as well. It's just not a guaranteed chance. While with another Pokemon of the same exact type, like same exact species of Pokemon Onyx, um, it's a guarantee that it, you'll get a move. I don't know if it'll be the move you're looking for, but I think it almost always is. I don't know how that works. We're gonna find out later on though. <laughs> uh, I still haven't learned any moves just because I don't feel like the situation has really arised, but I've been trying to take you guys' feedback as much as I possibly can. So we got our last little set of battles here with this guy. I think he's the evolution of our little sand shrew. Isn't that cute? Look, it's gonna be you soon in the future. A better version. Okay, that sounds rude. A better you. No, it's gonna be what you should aspire to be. Okay, let's roll out. Okay, and then dig. And then sandstorm. That sandstorm just misses because it sort of goes the wrong way. It goes counterclockwise, but we need to go clockwise in this situation. Okay, there we go, we got rid of him. We haven't taken too much damage. I think we're okay, which makes sense. You know, this battle is only like 2,400. I don't know how many batteries we have, so I don't know how much farther we're gonna be able to go today, but I will probably be setting up some cooking pots in the meantime, and then, yeah. If things don't go well, of course, next episode could just be a training episode or something like that if we need it. Let's do rollout, just like that. The rollout doesn't seem to do too much for me. I need to research what that move does a little bit more. But we're handling this guy well enough, I think. Uh, maybe not, we'll have to find out. Let's do Sandstorm. We will do Dig at him. Come on. I feel like they're just not doing the moves. Oh, wait, was I selecting the wrong one there? Maybe. That could have been the case. That was weird. There was like a moment there where I felt like I was pressing moves and nothing, like, is your Sandstorm disabled? But for a while, it just wasn't working. That was bizarre. I swear that I was like pressing buttons and nothing was happening. It's weird that Onyx is a ranged Pokemon as well. That won't reach you. Okay, so we just need you to survive, which you should be able to do just fine. I don't think this boss is gonna be able to out damage you too much. You can Sandstorm now, and it misses like crazy. Not the biggest fan of Sandstorm anymore. Okay, roll out. That helps a little bit. And then dig, come on, dig at him. See, that's all I wanted you to do before, but I swear you weren't doing it. I don't know, maybe it was just me. Okay, well there's a level done. I don't know how many batteries we have left, but the gold heart stone's gonna be good. Oh, got some level ups, not bad. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Ooh, 152 is okay, and we get some good bonuses for it, so I'll gladly take that. Okay, so our any other our cooking pot is ready, and we do have one more expedition we can do with our current level, our current battery. So we'll do that, and I will continue to level things up between episodes. So for right now, we got this cooking pot over this way. And what do we get? We get stone soup a la cube. That's actually a nice coincidence. What's it gonna be? What are you? Uh, you're a stone type? 
Omanite. Omanite? Omanite. Interesting, you're a stone water type. You seem pretty cool. Should we put that guy on our team? Let me know if you want to see that. Anyways, we should go ahead and figure that out then. What is that recipe? Stone soup out of cube, a whole lot of hard things and a few minerals. So these right here are fossils. And then hard things, I'd imagine, these are soft and precious ingredients. Hard and small ingredients. So we should do probably, also we should probably do it like this. Do we have enough to do this? Yes, we do. So if we do like three of these and then two of those, that should work, because it was a lot of hard things, which would be three apricorn and then two fossils, because those are minerals. Okay, so let's try that out, start cooking, and I'll be able to open that up in the next episode. Ingredients will be used, yep, 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 of course, of course. Okay, so I like these silver cooking pots. And uh, we got a challenge done, what is that gonna be? More PM tickets and more berries, or roots, you know. <laughs> Okay, so let's go for one last expedition. Maybe we can do a little bit of a higher level. Maybe that'd be a bad idea. We should probably equip that golden health upgrade as well. Probably on Geodude, or maybe you. I mean, I wouldn't want you to go any lower on health. Because that's like, it's a good one because it, it's golden, but look at how far we have to go down for it. A little crazy in that way. I don't know then, maybe it's a little bit too much of a dip. We'll check out Geodude, because he has a lot of health. How much health does this guy have? 944, he can take a bit of a loss. He does no damage though, is the thing. Uh, there's only so much we can do about that, right? So giving him some actual like bonuses with the critical hit and everything, especially if we change it up for this, critical hit damage plus 8%, I think having a higher rate will be a helpful exchange. So we lose a little bit of power, but overall I think we're gaining some opportunities. And I'll try to get these guys up as, like, as leveled up as possible. That'll be a big focus, wrong way. If I could get these guys all to like the level 25 or something, That'd be pretty cool. Does Onyx evolve into anything? I don't think so. I think he just is how he is. He's just very cool that way. So we'll try this again. I mean, maybe we should try a different place where we might have a better type advantage or at least are able to hold on a little bit better. I just don't know how well we would do in Pincushion Plains. Maybe even moving all the way back to here. The problem is that, no, 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 this should be good. Let's try something like this. Okay, we'll give it a shot. We'll see how things end up working. Uh, expedition start. Okay, so there's a bunch of fire types, which should actually be pretty resistant against, I think. Uh, so yeah, that should be pretty good. Because I'm pretty sure fire isn't very effective against rock. Rock isn't good against fire. But I think that's how it works. And these guys are pretty low leveled as well, so I think it'll be okay to level up here a little bit. Let's do a sandstorm, not bad. Geodude's dig does an okay amount of damage. Just takes a long time to land, it's weird. And the sandstorm is really helping. I like how Onyx spins around. I know in the trailer for the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, there was a little snippet where you could see uh, your, P your, your Pikachu, your, your character riding on Onyx, which I thought was so cool. Like I can't wait to see all the other Pokemon you might be able to ride on top of, or just like be with. Like what about this fly, or not flying, but uh, on fire pony. Ponyta? Or maybe the, the other version of Ponyta. That'd be so cool to see. It's just like your butt's on fire, like ow, ow, ow. I mean, I would have to imagine that you'd be able to ride all of them, right? It would be so lame if you can't have like all of them at least out. If you can't ride them all, at least run around with them. But I would really, really wish you could ride them all. That would be so cool. I know that you can customize uh, Pikachu and Eevee. I hope you can customize all of the Pokemon to an extent. That would be so cool. I would be really happy with that. Anyways, like yeah, like in the in the trailer they showed like getting different hats and clothing and stuff. That was pretty cool. I don't know why I roared. That's not gonna be too helpful. But uh, Geo dude, use rock or, or dig or whatever it is. You are the rock. And sandstorm, come on, get rid of him. This guy's actually pretty tough. There we go. So there's 30 uh, pieces of material, which is okay. We should have our boss we're going against here. More flaming horses. You are the Rapidash. So yeah, it's Ponyta and Rapidash. I think that's what it is. Sandstorm, roll out. Okay, what's gonna be available first? The dig will, I don't know, maybe flail is better than dig. And then we'll do roll out over there. I mean, roll isn't all that great to be honest, but it's the only move he has right now. If we could find another sand true, that'd be really good. I wouldn't mind that. Or at least one that might have good abilities so that we can go ahead and you know, 
give him those abilities, that, that'd be nice. We'll do rollout one more time. I mean, rollout doesn't seem to be that bad. It's not easy to land, that's, that's for sure. We got this Rapidash pretty low already. Okay, we roared you away. I think the restore for Roar is better than it is for Sandstorm. Yep, it definitely is. So that's good to keep in mind. We can roar something away, and then by the time it gets back to us, we have our Sandstorm ready. So we'll do that. We'll do Sandstorm. Come on. That was okay. We'll do Dig. Okay, come on, come on. We got it. Oh no. Poor Sandshrew's on fire right now. That shouldn't really do too much, though. Boom, we got you without getting anybody taken out, though. Sandstorm was really close, but. We, we made it work. So that should be the rest of my battery, at least for right now. And we get another damage stone. Not gonna be as good, I don't think, because we're pretty far back in the levels right now. But we got, ooh, a couple level ups for you two. <gasps> Here we go, Sandshrew! You're gonna evolve, look at you! Yay, what do we get? Ooh, Sand Slash, you are cool. I really like you. Congratulations, your Sandshrew evolved into Sand Slash. Awesome. So hopefully we can get you another damage upgrade soon. And hopefully Onyx and Geodude can evolve soon if they do evolve. 167 Mighty Stone is okay at best. We'll make it work somehow. But with all of that being said, I will continue to work hard. It looks like we do have another battery, but I'm just about out of time for now. So I'll let it restore and in a little bit. I'll try to play some more, level these Pokemon up. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Quest. If you watched for the video, make sure you comment Zebra Bug, if so now you've watched at the end, that you're a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.